Sacramento's Mayor Daryl Steinberg is speaking right now about that second group of migrants now here in Sacramento, flown here. Let's listen in. At our doorsteps. No matter what the terrible motivation was from whoever did this, that's our job. Uh, this is a city um, of, of immigrants. It's a city of refugees. It, it has the city and the region has one of the largest Afghan refugee populations in the country. Uh, we've taken in Ukrainian immigrants and we've taken in immigrants from all over the country. And it speaks to our values. Um, Statue of Liberty says, um, give us your tired, your poor, and your huddled masses. And Sacramento always works to live up to that ideal. Um, and so when this occurred on Saturday and today, what I'm most proud of is the fact that our community, our community-based organizations, our city, our county, obviously our governor who um, leads uh, in, in every way here, the attorney general, we've been working together over the last 48 plus hours to make sure that first and foremost that the people who are scared, who are vulnerable, who are flown here under some uh, lure of jobs and or services that um, they know that they are safe and that uh, they will be well cared for and we will follow through uh, whatever is best for them whether it's reconnection with uh, family in, in the region or the country whether it's helping them resettle whatever it is we will help them that's one part of it the other part and and, and I would call that and, and that's the best of American values that's what Americans do when people are hurting, when they are vulnerable. And then there's the other side of this, which is the worst of American values. And that is somebody, and the early evidence points to Florida, and we know where that points, who would use innocent, vulnerable people as political pawns. Is there no shame as as someone once said during the McCarthy era. It doesn't matter what your political viewpoint is on immigration. We all know there needs to be comprehensive federal immigration reform. And that, you know, since John McCain was in the Senate, there have not been many vocal people on the other side of the aisle who have said, let's make this a national priority. It doesn't matter what your point of view is on immigration. What matters is is the tactic of using the most vulnerable people as your political pawn. Anyone who does that is not worth dignifying. And so we speak out loudly uh, against the perpetrators here. And by the way, I'm very pleased that the Attorney General and the Governor are calling for a criminal investigation. I'm not a criminal lawyer, but you know, if you do lure people under false pretenses to and fly them to uh, another state across state lines, um, I don't know what that is. Uh, whether it's kidnapping, whether it's some uh, other crime, but it certainly ought to be fully investigated, and whoever is responsible ought to be held accountable for this. Um, and so we we live in a tale of two uh, of two stories here. And, you know, I know people say, well, this represents the political divide in the country. Well, maybe, but I think and I know that the vast majority of Americans, regardless of their political point of view, do not believe that it is right to, to essentially take vulnerable people, put them on a plane and fly them to a place where they know no one, where they're scared, where they're vulnerable, just so you can score points with your primary voters or whatever other motivation you might have. And, uh, and so we control what we can control. What we control is how we act. And we're going to act in the only way that Sacramento knows, and that is to embrace, welcome, and help the people. Mayor Steinberg, can you talk about when you were made aware that the flight was coming in from Florida over the weekend and when you were made aware that the flight was coming in from Texas today? And when you heard that, when you became aware that these were migrants who were just yeah. essentially dumped off here in California, what was All right, your you've been listening to the mayor right now. He called it the worst of values.
and terrible motivation for whomever sent these migrants here. He says the migrants are scared, they're vulnerable, and being used as political pawns. He says anybody who does that is not worth dignifying, although he is commending the governor and the attorney general for now launching a criminal investigation.